Hi, welcome to the Spores and Probiotics channel on YouTube. I'm Dr. Tom Bain. When I started seeing patients 19 years ago, my intention was to practice holistic medicine and to work with patients that had a myriad of symptoms and conditions. I had no intention of becoming a digestive health specialist. But as I began to work with different patients with very different clinical presentations, I started to see some consistencies. Many patients presented with symptoms that were, were the result of poor digestive function. Patients with psoriasis, acne, joint pain, allergies, sinusitis, frequently had poor digestion as a common weakness. And by correcting these digestive functions, I began to have results of a wide variety of these conditions. Today, I run a referral-based cash practice, and over 80% of the patients I see either have a primary condition of poor digestion, like IBS, Crohn's disease, or ulcerative colitis, or they have a secondary condition that's caused by poor digestive function. I've learned that treating the gut can heal so many different conditions. As a result, I've become a digestive health specialist out of necessity. One of the biggest problems I've faced in the treatment of my patients is the availability of an effective probiotic. This has always been puzzling since there are dozens of companies that promote probiotics. The products that I did use, I had mixed results with. I never knew if my patients were actually benefiting from taking these probiotics. All the formulations I tried, they used strains that were found in the human GI tract. These products all contained varying strains of lactobacillus and bifidobacteria in varying concentrations. So why weren't they all that effective? Additionally, another important benefit from using probiotics is immune stimulation. This too was a claim benefit of recommending probiotics that I had very mixed results with. Recently, extensive studies in probiotics have helped me understand why most products available in the marketplace are not as effective as we assumed they would be. If you're currently prescribing probiotics, then you've experienced these things. A product would work for one patient complaining of a symptom like IBS, but the next patient with the exact same symptoms experiences absolutely no relief. Or in another case, a patient with asthma improves while taking a probiotic, suddenly they stop seeing results even though they're still taking the probiotic. Frustrating for you and for the patient. But the latest research has helped me understand why most products available to me for my patients have not been as effective as I assumed they would be. Today, you'll learn about a new probiotic supplement that's a game changer. One that's different than over 90% of the probiotics in the market. And the reason it's different is because it's more in tune with nature's design for probiotics. This unique supplement is called Megaspore Biotic. This product has dramatically improved my clinical results in treating a wide array of conditions. Patients share with me how wonderful they feel as they reap the benefits of this probiotic, sometimes after the first dose. This unique and patented product contains a combination of five bacillus spores not available on the market until now. In today's video, I'll share with you a brief description of what a probiotic is and why, as a trained medical professional, you have a new opportunity to help more patients than ever before. I'll share with you how the current choices in the marketplace are missing the target, especially when it comes to improving digestive and immune system health. We'll talk about how this new product, Megaspore Biotic, designed by a doctor and to, to be dispensed only by medical professionals, can make you the digestive health authority in your community without the concerns of your patient purchasing the product on the internet at a lower price. And finally, I'll share with you how Megaspore Biotic is different than anything else on the market. Whether you know a little about the health benefits of probiotics, 
or are currently prescribing them as part of a healthy lifestyle for your patients, your family, stay tuned to the latest advancements in the probiotic field. I'm excited to share this with you. This supplement is helping my patients with some very common ailments you see every day as a medical practitioner. So let's get started. What is a probiotic? Since the discovery of probiotics around 1904, it's believed that these bacteria are beneficial, they live in our gastrointestinal systems, and provide benefits to us, the host. The latest research, a large-scale study run by the National Institute of Health, called the Human Microbiome Project, has set three distinct rules for what makes something a probiotic. Number one, the organism must have a position in the individual's microbiota. If the supplemented probiotic does not have a position in that individual's microbiota, it has no chance of survival. Humans have 1,000 species of bacteria out of 35,000 possible in their digestive tract. It's more like a lottery that the strains found in the supplement that you're using have a position in any one person's digestive tract. Number two, probiotics must survive and exceed in order to thrive. Meaning, they must survive the stomach acid intact and they must be supplemented in higher concentrations than what naturally exists for that species in the intestines in order to see the stimulatory benefit to the immune system. And third, supplemented probiotics should naturally exist in the environment as well as your gastrointestinal tract. It's from the environment that the probiotic gains exposure to the individual. And they have to be adapted to survive in the GI tract as well. Are you surprised to learn that most probiotics on the market do not fit this definition? Let me explain. Most probiotics contain somewhere between 1 and 15 strains of lactobacillus and bifidobacteria. Because of the unique fingerprint-like composition of bacteria in each individual's intestinal tract, there is no way of knowing if the strains you are supplementing are the ones that the individual needs. Even though the research shows that lactobacillus and bifidobacteria don't survive the stomach acid, if somehow they did find a way to get past the stomach acid. There's just not a high enough concentration to get the stimulatory benefits to the immune system that we're looking for. The body already hosts 10 to 20 trillion of these bacteria. So taking a supplement that contains 50 billion organisms cannot provide a stimulatory benefit. It's the equivalent of putting a drop of food dye in a swimming pool and think you're gonna change the color of the entire pool. Lactobacillus and bifidobacteria are two of the most predominant organisms in the human intestinal tract. But they got there through placental blood during fetal development, passage through the vaginal canal during birth, and breastfeeding up to one year of age. All supplemented lactobacillus and bifidobacteria products take these anaerobic organisms and reverse engineer them to be aerobes by growing them in a laboratory so they can be reintroduced to the digestive tract through oral administration. This is not the way nature intended us to be exposed to these strains of bacteria. Nowhere in our diet or in our environment do we find wild lactobacillus and bifidobacteria. So we didn't evolve to have daily exposure to these classes of bacteria and they did not evolve to survive outside the in the environment. Hence, many of them have to be refrigerated in order to be kept alive. How can these organisms survive the harsh environment of the stomach, 98.6 degrees, pH of one to three, if they can't survive at room temperature? Where did our ancestors get these probiotics, since they did not have a refrigerated section in a health food store to get them? Where do we find them in our diet or in the environment? The answer is, we don't. Nature did not design them to be daily probiotics. So what is nature's design for probiotics? The answer, bacillus spores. 
Bacillus spores are the most widely studied and most widely used probiotics outside of the supplement market. Bacillus spores were the first prescription probiotics, which were brought to market in the late 1950s. Some of the features that make Bacillus spores nature's true probiotic, let me explain in detail. They form a robust endospore that has the ability to survive very harsh environments. Environments like high temperatures, low pH, antibiotics, UV radiation, even high pressure. This feature ensures that the organism survives the stomach acid where non-spore form bacteria do not. In fact, our proprietary technology guarantees 100% spore format. Because as amazing as these bugs are, they too do not survive the harsh environment of the stomach acid if they're not in spore form. Bacillus spores are found all over our environment. They're found in the soil, they're found in vegetation, dust, rocks, lakes, oceans. They're actually found in the digestive tracts of animals, insects, mammals, and marine life. In fact, spores are what give shrimp and salmon their pink and orange coloring. So clearly, spores seem to fit the description of a universal probiotic. Our ancestors, who were hunters and gatherers, were constantly exposed to healthful spores as they lived off the land. This is where the coevolution and codependence began. As we limit our exposure to health-promoting spores through poor farming practices, sterilization of our food system, and excessive use of pesticides and herbicides, we've practically eliminated our exposure to these important spores. And we leave ourselves susceptible to digestive stress and immune dysfunction. Let me take a quick moment to list some of the amazing functions that spores have been shown to carry out. They produce dozens of antibiotics and help the host fight off dangerous organisms like C. diff and E. coli, and to help modulate the gut flora. They create the most potent immune stimulation to increase your body's ability to fight off infections. They help control overactive immune systems that lead to chronic pain conditions that are frequently associated with inflammation. They aid in digestion by directly digesting foods we eat. They play a very important role in detoxification by neutralizing harmful toxins in our digestive tracts. They've been shown to produce a whole spectrum of vitamins, enzymes, and even powerful antioxidants. In essence, they become these little amazing nutrient factories inside of our digestive tracts, making the very things that our bodies need. There's some of these organisms that have a biphasic lifestyle, meaning they naturally exist in the environment and in our system. Based on this knowledge, it's clear that nature is intended for probiotic spores to police the intestinal tract and keep it functioning at its highest level. The best way to positively affect and enhance a beneficial probiotic population is with a healthy diet and the use of a true probiotic that uses bacillus spores as its active ingredients. I'd like to introduce you to Megaspore Biotic. Megaspore Biotic survives the digestive system. It is 100% spore form, so it survives the harsh environment of the stomach acid and the bile in the small intestine. Megaspore is supplemented in a higher concentration than what naturally exists in the digestive tract, providing a stimulatory effect to the immune system. You see, there are only two to three million spores in the human digestive tract, so when we supplement four billion spores, we're ensuring that the intestinal immune system is being stimulated with every dose. These spores are found in our environment as well as our digestive tract. It's from our environment that they gain exposure to our digestive tract, and thus, they are nature's true probiotic, because we're exposing them in our diet. With Megaspore Biotic, we're capturing the power of millions of years of evolution. We have a firm place in the microbiota with this probiotic. As a digestive health specialist, I went searching for what nature has designed as a true probiotic that will work for everyone. One that naturally fits the definition based on the new science of probiotics and all of the latest research. 
a probiotic that is naturally designed to enter the body on a regular basis and perform key functions. I also wanted to find a product that would alleviate concerns over mislabeling by using something that was prescription grade. A product that was powerful, but that would only be prescribed under the care of a healthcare provider. The strains of Megaspore Biotic are verified and validated by London University to ensure that what's on the label is exactly what's in the capsule. We used no excipients, fillers, dyes, or colorings. This product contains no dairy, corn, wheat, gluten, salt, sugar, soy, or any artificial flavors. It's GMO free. And we use a vegetarian capsule to make sure it's friendly to our vegan and vegetarian friends. The product is Megaspore Biotic and it contains organisms that are found in nearly every living creature. These spores are nature's universal probiotic. So, to recap, Megaspore Biotic mirrors the way nature has designed a universal probiotic. The use of spores as probiotics is important because they survive the digestive system, they're able to colonize the GI tract and provide digestive and immune system support for you and your patients. The spore strains found in this product are all verified strains, so you know what you're getting in your product. The potency is guaranteed, and it's the only product out there with five different synergistically blended spore strains in a single capsule. The spores that are available in this product are Bacillus subtilis, Bacillus licheniformis, Bacillus coagulans, Bacillus clausi, and today we're introducing for the first time the patented Bacillus Indicus, HU36. As a medical health professional, I've been using Megaspore Biotics with my patients and have seen the results they provide firsthand. Stay tuned to this YouTube channel for profiles of patients currently using Megaspore Biotic and how it has helped them. Today, we clearly presented the science that illustrates the issues and problems with most lactobacillus and bifidobacteria based products. We discussed the clinical improvements in patients with digestive distress and immune dysfunction. And we discussed the research and millions of years of coevolution we have had with spores. Megaspore Biotic is based on nature's true design for probiotics. Every man, woman, or child that comes into your office should be taking this product. Thank you for your time. Be well.